Big Ten matchup. Wanted to bring up Ohio State and Penn State. Ohio State wins 33-24. to Ohio State's post-game win expectancy here was actually 67%, which was less than I anticipated. They were favored by 18.5. I think it got to 19, 19.5 by kick. Got to, it it uh, got to 19.5 by kickoff. Which is absolutely... It felt like uh, that line was super inflated because of the Illinois stuff. Eric jumped in and said, now that sounds like an LSU fan. <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe. But Travion Henderson in this game. 28 carries, 152 yards, one touchdown. He did have a long of 68 yards, so that kind of skewed the numbers just a little bit. But still, Penn State was impressive in this game. Like, it, it, all of the expectations beforehand, they it, it kind of, I think you and I talked about this. It felt like that Illinois game, Penn State was setting up for the Ohio State game, and they did not anticipate that anything that they could do would lose them the ball game at home against Illinois. And they're just not talented enough to to just be able to, to sleepwalk through a Big Ten opponent. So you come out in this game and you're fired up, you're on the road, you're ready to roll. They still got a pretty good defense. They, uh, they held Ohio State to 466 total yards, 305 passing, 161 rushing. The biggest issue here was... Penn State still cannot run the football. And Ohio State's run defense is pretty good, but they ain't that good. I mean, 33 yards rushing on, on 29 carries, like, that is that ain't going to get it done. I was very impressed with Sean Clifford, though. I mean, it, it for his injury, throwing shoulder and everything, 35 out of 52, 361 yards, one touchdown, one pick. This thing was tight until late in the game. Ohio State had to kick a field goal late in the fourth quarter to to make it a two score game. Uh, did you? What were your thoughts on this one? So this game played out exactly the way I thought it would. I, I, I told you that this Ohio State offense that has just been rolling over everybody, and everybody wants to make them the number two team in the country. Like, let's let's hang on. They've been beating the hell out of nobodies. Okay, like when they play a nobody, they beat the shit out of them. When they play somebody that hits them in the mouth, they kind of fold up a little bit. All right, let's. They're extremely athletic. This defense is not good at all. This Penn State offense is terrible. They're Gary, they're terrible. Yeah. They're just terrible. They're not good at anything. They make everything look hard. They make everything look difficult. It looked like getting three yards of play looked like it was just the most exhausting and frustrating thing in the world, and that's not a great defense. They're just bad. Yeah. Penn State, if Penn State had any semblance of an offense, they could be special. This There is no – team in the country right now that has a greater separation of talent from one side of the ball to the other than Penn State. Their defense is electric and really, really talented, but they're on the field constantly because their offense is just god awful. Yes, and that what's crazy about that, so Ohio State, here's here's the storyline. Ohio State won yardage 466 to 394. They won yards per play 6.9 to 4.9. Penn State ran 81 plays to only 68 for Ohio State. Ohio State won rushing yards 161 to 33. They won turnovers 3 to 1. The fact that Penn State turned the ball over 3 times and we're still in this ball game. Yeah. Uh, that tells you everything you need to know. Penn State won third downs by the way, 69% nice to 33%. And if, and, I, if I was Penn State's defense, I'd be furious. I'd oh yeah. be absolutely furious. We were on the field all damn night. We were doing everything we could and the sons of bitches across the hall from us just can't do anything at all. It, it's it, yes, it would be very, very frustrating. Both I'm gonna tell you that, this, man. It, all these schools looking at Franklin, why? Why? I've, I've asked this for a couple of years, by the way. Every year, his name comes up for big jobs, and I don't understand. I'm not saying he's a terrible coach, but but why is he seen as like the premier coach in college football that every program would want? That Where I do don't have an answer from. from? I, like I nine years ago, he did something special at Vanderbilt. Okay. All right. He what did. has he done special at Penn State besides finish third every year? Well, I mean, he he won the Big Ten in a really weird year back in twenty what seventeen or twenty. That's whatever right. And they kept him out of the playoff, and that was bullshit. And yeah. and I get it. That year, that year he was awesome. But then he lost his special quarterback. He lost his special running back, and he lost his OC. And after that, they've been garbage. How is that any different than what O's done? Except for he had had a complete collapse. Like I'm gonna get that. That's a shit show. But I mean, last year he was a product of a special quarterback, a special running back, and a special OC. 
Yeah. No, you're you're 100 percent right about that. I I don't have an answer for you. Like I think he's he's a pretty good coach. I like Franklin. I just don't understand why his name always comes up. A, it's weird because does he really hate it at Penn State? Like, why do you think he wants to leave all the time? But then why do these other places think that he's like the next Christ that's going to walk through the door and save your program? Like, I, what I will have tell we you seen this. to get that? Compared to what they have had at USC, uh, I do think Franklin would be an upgrade. Well, okay, yes, because he's but, a grown-up in the room, and they kind of really haven't had that. But, man, they – I, I think, don't know. I think people I, talk about him because they feel like he's gettable. Like, I, there's some coaches out weird, there. But that's weird, right? Isn't that weird that you want yeah. somebody only because they're gettable? Like, why are you not happy where you're at? Like, if you're always looking for the next job, do you want that guy? Uh, yeah, I, I'm with you. Larry jumped in. He said, Penn State re- recruits well, should be doing a little better. And and they should. The issue, like, I don't, their roster is not upper echelon Big Ten, right? They're, th- this roster should not be competing with Penn State. Like with uh, with Ohio State, excuse me. No. Like they it it's it's good. It's it's a top 15 yes. roster. It's not national championship. And and it does make me wonder like if he goes to USC, which I still believe that he'll be at Penn State next year. Like I, I think yeah, that's what I, he's, we 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 all the reports are coming out that all of this is just a reason to get him a big raise. And that's fine. That's what the agent's job is to do. But at some point in time, these other programs kind of have to want him for his agent to be able to put that stuff out there. True. And I don't understand that. True. I mean, there, obviously, there is some kind of talk going on between him and USC, and I could get yes. it. Right? I think oh, no, and his, name, and his name was floated out for the LSU job. LSU, like, inquired about him. And and it's not that I would hate him because he's a big upgrade from – but the, the, my, I just – the guy that's always wanting the next job, at some point in time when you get him – Three to five years later, he's going to be looking for the next job because that's what they do, and that's a little weird to me. I I don't have uh, any any argument there. I don't have any kind of argument there. It it was it was a strange game, you know. Like I said, Penn State won third downs, uh, sixty nine to thirty three. They won drive points, twenty one to twenty. Both teams had a fourth down failure. Ohio State's defense is still an issue. If you were giving up this kind of stuff to Penn State's offense, I. I, you you know where I think they lost this game? This is where I think they lost this game. You talking about Penn were, State? Yeah, yeah. They were they were down by four, five, five, maybe. I don't know. Whatever the hell. The end of the game. And it was fourth and four or fourth and five from their own 30. And 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 I think they should have went for it there. There was only like four minutes left or three minutes left to go to the game. Uh, two minutes and change. And and they had all their timeouts and every and like even the announcers were like well you got to pump the ball and hope your defense gets no no uh, there's not going to be many opportunities where if you get four yards you can continue to go on the drive this is not a team that can score with thirty seconds left on the clock okay there it's going to take all two and a half minutes and those three timeouts to get a touchdown for this offense everything they do is really hard to to get any yards at all. Why do you think if they go down, get a three and out, and get the ball back, that they can score in forty five seconds? I, you're you're right. I, I would have nothing, gone. For nothing that. they showed showed that they could break one for a big play. Yeah, like Ohio State's defense isn't good, but those guys have speed. They can not let somebody get behind them pretty easily. Yeah, like and that's all you have to do at Penn State is make them take the three or four yards at a time, and it's going to take all ninety eight seconds to to score. And, and, and it's ball game. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're, I just thought, I just right. thought you're, when he punted there, I thought, well, that's ball game. Because it doesn't – even if Ohio State doesn't get the field goal, Penn State's, Penn State's not going on a drive in, in, in you know, 38 seconds. Like, no. They're just not. No, that's it's, not how it's, this offense is put together. They don't have the ability to do that. They, they do have – like, they got Dotson as the playmaker, but, like, when you've only got one – it's it's pretty hard it's, to not let that. It's pretty easy to not when you're Ohio State. Ohio State's defense is not what they've been in the past, but they still got athletes that are not going to let one guy get yes. behind them. Agreed. It's been, well late in the ball game for sure. Like it, you you might could be able to trick them early. Yeah, uh, yeah. not yeah. late. No, but that's what I'm saying. In a situation like that, when you're up by less than a touchdown and you can't give up a touchdown. You just let them catch everything in front of them and tackle them. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.